Hello students, hello world. Dr. K here. My job is to make you a math genius. Today I want to explain to you the solution of a great puzzle that we love in our classroom, the Setting Sun Puzzle. It's like Rush Hour, the game, where we get the car out of the way, the red car out of the way by moving all the cars. So we move these pieces. We're trying to get the sun, the piece with the red sun, to set to go through the slot by moving all the other pieces out of the way. The red sun is the only piece that would go down the slot. It's the only piece that's thin that to go through the slot. A great website that shows you a playable version. Somebody really smart coded this and I, I commend them for that. In fact, I'm gonna use that website. I'll put the link in the description. I'm gonna use that website to explain to you my solution and the logic of that solution. On that website, the playable website, they also list for you the the steps they also list for you the steps they have a solution with 112 steps beautiful now i'm going to demonstrate my solution and break it down into key milestone positions i explained that this here is the this here is the first position i'm trying to make what i call a sandwich i'm going to make a sandwich on the bottom left the sandwich is made up from the horizontal piece with the four single pieces that's the first position first milestone position you know we're breaking the problem into smaller problems the second milestone position is when i slide the sun to the right on three vertical pieces the third milestone position is when i go ahead and make a sandwich on the right hand side under the sun the, the four vertical pieces are off to one side. Everything is mirror image. I'm just, I went with the right hand side. I can also mirror image the puzzle. The fourth milestone position is when I get the sun to go down. The first time I move the sun, but logically I have to put two single pieces to go behind the sun. That's the whole logic. That's key concept. And I have to move the horizontal piece out of the way so the sun can go past by it. The, fir the fifth is when all the vertical pieces are up and now I'm just dealing with a mini puzzle where I, I only have the sun, the horizontal, and the four pieces. And then from there the solution happens and the big red sun is ready to set. So those are the milestones of the solution. I'm going to go now and just show you the animation that I made with, these, um, with, that, with that playable solution. Let's start. So you see, I choose going to the right, but everything is mirror image, like I said. Again, my job is to make you a math genius. I have the best students in the world. I'm the luckiest teacher in the world. And this is a great, great math puzzle. Logic, spatial math puzzle. So you can see, we're about to approach the first milestone, the sandwich created on the left-hand side and there it is. First milestone position. Okay, we keep going. My dog is asleep. He's like, Daddy, Daddy, what are you doing? Yeti, we're making this because my students are math geniuses. You know how my job is to make the math, math genius? Solving puzzles is a big part of it, Yeti. Yeti's like, Dr. K, it's over the summer. What's happening? There's the second milestone, ready to slide. See, we slid. We can only slide the red piece on three vertical pieces. Now we are going through towards our third milestone position where we're gonna create that sandwich that I talked about. We're gonna create it under the sun on the right-hand side. All the vertical pieces are going to move to the left. There you go, creating. And that looks beautiful. That's our third milestone position. You see it? The sandwich, as I call it. Now we're going to take the top of that sandwich, the top bun of that sandwich, and send it all the way up. Because remember, we want to put those two single pieces all the way up to go ready to go behind the sun as the sun comes down so now we're just really shuffling the pieces around this part is where my students go oh dr k this is my favorite part i don't know why but students love this part 
It's like musical chairs just to get the two single pieces all the way in the top, ready to go behind the sun, ready to move behind the sun when the sun goes down. Okay. Oh, here I actually, you see I had made an extra step there, but that's okay. We are now ready for the sun to come down onto the partial sandwich. That's the fourth milestone. And you see it, it's, it's, we're working through it now. The sun is ready to go down further. Sun always landing on the horizontal piece. There we go. Okay, key here is not to rush. We don't want the sun to go down any further. We want to make sure that the horizontal piece is all the way out of the way. Approaching our next milestone position, you will see all the vertical pieces are going to go all the way to the top. See that? That's another milestone. And then we are now ready because we're going to make that sandwich on the right hand side. And from here, we're at a milestone position, the fifth milestone position. And from here, the puzzle is much simpler. You see that? Because all we're going to do is just we're going to rotate that horizontal piece out of the way. And the puzzle is now going to be solved. See that? And again, I love this website. I love this website. I can't thank the creator enough. I'll put a link in the description. The sun position, the sun is positioned to set. Congratulations. Their solution is slightly different. And um, there, I, I, I don't think, I think there are more solutions as well. But I just wanted to kind of explain one solution, the solution that I kind of, that seemed logical to me, and also to give my students a way to break down the problem into smaller pieces and my job is to make you a math genius.